Welcome back to Rick's Reflections, where we take a look at the upcoming Sunday Gospel reading and see how it applies to our lives today. Well, this Sunday, we see that Jesus is going to take Peter, James, and John away from the rest of the group and up a little bit of a mountain. There is the transfiguration where they get to see Jesus in this brilliant light. And Moses and Elijah are going to appear with Jesus and start conversing and having a conversation. And uh, Peter doesn't know what to say at this moment, so he mentions that maybe they should build three tents, one for each of them. And then we hear the voice of God speaking to them, saying that this is my son in whom he is well pleased and to listen to him. Now, I got to imagine at this moment that Peter, James, and John just obviously they don't know what to say. They just are experiencing the fullness of being in the presence of the Lord. Now, what I find interesting is there is going to come a time a little ways down the road when we see that Peter, James, and John, who got to experience this with Jesus, are going to leave him and deny him. They were there at the transfiguration. They got to see Jesus in his glory and listen to the Father say exactly who he was and yet. In the moments of uh, great trial and tribulation, in the last moments of Jesus' earthly life, the first one, they leave him. They abandon him and they even deny him. Now, I like to think, Peter, James, John, didn't you experience that? Like, how could you possibly deny it, no matter what? No matter if it was even up to your death. But then don't we do that too? Don't we have moments where things just seem too tough to overcome? And we forget that we have a God who is in control of it all. We have Jesus who suffered and died for us. And sometimes we forget that too. Sometimes we flee. Sometimes we abandon. Sometimes we even deny Jesus. Let us work this Lent on paying attention to exactly who Jesus is. He is God. Let us pay attention to the Father and let us pay attention to the Holy Spirit. This Lent, let us not abandon, run away, doubt, or even deny Jesus. Instead, let us embrace him for not only what he has done for us, but for who he is. He is your Lord. He is there at every moment. He will never abandon you or forsake you. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time on Rick's Reflections. Thank you.